everybody, I'm Boom Man from Boom Man Gaming, and today we're going to be taking our very first look at Fortnite Save the World. Um, so first off is, obviously, we're going to be working our way from left to right through all the tabs, and I'm going to be answering any questions you have, and try to help everyone who doesn't understand what Save the World is. So, first things first, the play tab. I know it might be the most obvious one, but we're going to go through it. So, as you may not know, I am currently, if I go on my map, I am in Twine Peaks. You start off in Stonewood, work your way to Plankerton, Candy Valley, and then Twine Peaks. Now, this is just an event one, it's Survive the Storm. If we go back to the play tab, if you're in Plankerton and Stonewood, you will find that you actually have an array of quests here. Uh, it tells you everything you need to do in brief details, like you have 13 pages to do, out of the 13s you have 5 missions in each of them, or 4, I can't remember and then you need to do them and once you do them you see the rewards. When you get to Candy Valley and Twine Peaks, however, the uh, game is still in early access and they haven't completed the full story mode, therefore they kinda just give you a one mission brief. So here it says current main quest, I need to do first things first, which is the name of the, 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 the main quest, I have to complete three fight the storm, ride the lightning, or fight category three storm missions in a 76 plus zone. My rewards are a rare range weapon schematic and schematic XP. Now, if you were on Stonewater Plankerton, you would see the whole list, and it's actually more story oriented because they've done the story campaign for it. For Candy Valley and Twine Peaks, I would recommend maybe waiting a little bit uh, for the simple reason that their story isn't completed, and if you're more story oriented and you rather play with a story and have objectives more, uh, more completed than just doing these three types of missions and then doing another three types of missions and then so on and so forth. Um, I would recommend waiting for Candy Valley and Twine Peaks until the story is completed. Now, now that we covered a little bit of the main quests and all that, I kind of want to take a look right real quick into the news. So, as you can see, you have a news thing here, or if you're in PlayStation, I believe it's you have to hit uh, triangle, and for Xbox it would be Y, I believe. Now, news update. So as you can see here, click the clinger, coming soon. Sticks this explosive to any surfaces or husks. So it looks like it's a bomb with a plunger. And I don't know if that's a pickaxe of what sort. It looks like an arrow, so we might be able to shoot new things. Uh, it probably won't be uh, something we'll be carrying around like in our materials and stuff like that. I don't think it'll become a new weapon type. I think it might just be kind of like the C4 and the impulse grenades that we have now in uh, Save the World. Now, as you can see here, build bigger. The default building material stacks limit has been increased to 2,000 and can be leveled up to 5,000. And hold down the fort, new Mercury LMG has a fast rate of fire and large magazines available now in the event store. So this is basically what the news thing is, and I don't know why this just shifted to the right, but whatever. It tells us our downtime uh, will begin soon, which is technically a lie because it's still uh, uh, quite away from me, but you know, whatever. So there's the little update thing. And if we go here into the event tab, uh, it tells us exactly what we want to know for the event. As you can see, I have already completed the first week, and now the second week is, has also been completed. And at this downtime, we should be getting a new uh, Into the Storm event, or it could be something like a little bit concentrating on something else. I've heard rumors that we might be getting a more militaristic uh, event with new military and spec ops heroes, so I don't know if this will be this week or next week, but definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's uh, downtime and update for this. So, I'm just gonna really, really roughly, quickly go through these in case you need help with what you need to do for Into the Storm. Alright, so Breaker Breaker. Destroy fire trucks, police cars, and ambulances to retrieve encrypted radio parts. Uh, these are most likely found in city or industrial zones, so those are the missions that I would recommend. Um, then we got Deep Cuts. So, find Lars's old research data. These are found in urban, suburban, and industrial zones, and normally found in basements. Uh, then we've got, it's what's inside that counts. For this one here, you need to kill and collect Miss Monster data. Uh, it's 10. And what you want to do in this case is actually go into a Destroy the Encampment mission. Normally, if you're inside Plankerton, you can do it in one mission. Uh, there's a lot of Miss Monsters that spawn, and in case you don't know what a Miss Monster is, those are usually Smashers, Flingers, uh, Takers, and uh, patent pending, the Laser Boys. Um, 
Moving on, we have liner notes. For this here, you'll need to collect Steel Wool album records, and those are normally found in uh, suburban and urban zones. And uh, basically, you can collect them, most of them, in one mission. And they're just kind of laying around in crates or where the survivors are. Uh, you'll see survivors kind of have these little weird shacks around the map, and there's normally there's some in there. Moving on, we have Encore. For Encore, you need to deploy speakers and blast Steel Wool's greatest hits to repel the storm. You need to do seven of these, and sadly, I don't think you'll be able to do all of these on one missions. You'll have to do it in two separate missions. And uh, what you'll have to do for here is uh, basically just go into an urban or suburban area, and you'll be able to blast these uh, speakers out. Moving on, we have Last Known Position. For this one here, you'll need to find and interact with the research equip equipment someone has been installing on the rooftops. So normally as well, just go suburban or urban and, and industrial zones. And if you go onto the rooftops, you'll see these little weird microwave umbrellas and uh, you just activate those and you'll be on your way. Oh, wait maps. For this quest, you'll have to gather maps from tractors, trucks, and RV vehicles. You need to gather 15 uh, it is obtainable in one mission, but you would have to go into most likely an industrial zone and quite lucky with the RNG drops from the trailers because some of them won't drop any. Uh, moving on, we have clever boards. Gather AC control circuits from AC units from a standard for the for the smart hoverboards. Blah, 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 blah. Um, this one here can take quite a few missions because you need to gather at least 99 of them and every time you break an AC unit it drops roughly around four or five of them if you're lucky and so depending if you go into which zones I would highly recommend an, an industrial zone or city zone and you could do this probably in one or two missions if you're lucky. Um, moving on, we have the next page, which is Hover Over Yonder, and for this one here, you need to deploy smart boards. Uh, you'll be able to do this in two missions, and I would really suggest just kind of doing any kind of mission, as long as you go over the outskirts of the, uh, the map, they should be there and being able to deploy. Moving on, we have Stars Man, and for this one here, it'll take roughly maybe a mission or two and what you have to do is kind of go into an urban or suburban area and you need to find sky atlas parts by destroying bookshelves you need 12 so it's kind of the same thing as the maps that sometimes they drop sometimes they don't so it's all really rng and it's kind of just luck based if you destroy one and you get you get one every time then you might finish it in one but if you're not getting any and you only get one every four bookshelves you might have to do it twice moving on to the next week of into the storm encore uh, we have our first ever I Spy mission, which had find broken telescopes that we could use to construct a telescope array. Uh, these can be done in two missions, and what you'll have to do is go into suburb, suburb, suburban, urban, or industrial zones and uh, kind of just find three telescopes, go into another mission, find three telescopes. And they're usually found on rooftops. What's a payphone? Uh, so for this one here, you need to go into urban, suburban, or industrial zones and find public payphones. The smart hoverboards are calling and retrieve the data. You'll be able to do this roughly in one mission if you spawn in a great location. I remember once my buddy spawned into a city zone where there was only one payphone and he had to do it again. And then he found all six afterwards. Moving on, we have Iron Van. For Iron Van, uh, you need to find insulators from the power transformers around the world. Roughly, if you do this in a city zone or industrial, you should be able to find this in roughly a mission, but sometimes it can take two, and you're just looking for these green uh, big transformers or small ones, and they roughly drop around one or two insulators per break. Uh, moving on, and you'll need 30 of them. Moving on, we need steel, we have steel Icarus. Uh, for this one, you need to launch Lars's van beyond the wall of the clouds. Now, rough, roughly to belief, you might think, hey, I might just do a, a Ride the Lightning mission, which is the missions you launch Lars into the sky. But no, you actually will have to go into your map, hit Survive the Storm, and uh, it'll be... Oh, wow, why? Why? No. Uh, is it 8 o'clock already? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, roughly, it should be somewhere here, down here. That kind of shows up like here somewhere, away from the Survive the Storm. But if ever you're having issues and you can't launch it from Survive the Storm, uh, when you're here, it'll say 
press X or press whatever to launch it, you can launch it directly from here, it'll take you there. So that's for Steel Icarus. Once you do that, you have Van Down, which will ask you um, to find server clusters in the world and use them for some number crunching. You need to gather five. Uh, you can do all of these in one go as long as you go into an urban or industrial zone. And uh, you just have to look around for servers and just access them. Then you have the last mission of this week's Into the Storm. And what you need to do is defend the telescope array for telescopes while they are being while they are observing the sky now for this one here it's kind of the same concept as um, the Icarus one you need to go into survive the storm again and once you do that it'll be somewhere down here and it'll say uh, it'll say the name of the mission which was reunion tour and you just launch it you'll go in there you have to defend four telescopes arrays once you complete it you'll get your tickets and be able to choose one of the new cyberpunk heroes and that is it for the play uh, main tab um, I'm gonna be reviewing more of the event ones when they launch and we get the next ones. I hope you enjoyed this video about the play tab and for more Fortnite how to's and explanations and news please subscribe to the boom man gaming channel I'm boom 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 man and I'm out